All right, let's bring. Why don't you guys come in all the way in so you can get in on camera here? Because without you guys, the visual, we can get everybody. You got to squeeze way in all the all the way down. Get close on top of each other, in behind each other. Uh, And Tim is not on TV. I I well, the back of his head is like me. You look like me on television. Uh, Our audience (laughs) on TV deserves to see this um, real basket of deplorables. so you, I see on the basket here, it says basket of deplorables. You've got Richard Hanna on there. Jim, I've got to ask you a question in fairness, which means I have to be a jerk to everyone. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to get even tighter uh, because I, I, I'm having people requesting. And, and can you come in even? To just And then you yeah, come there you in. Go. There's going to be a lot of touching here. This, you're going to all look like Democrats when you're done. <laughs> oh, I think everybody's getting close now. I believe you're all in there. So, and I see the. Uh, I love the homemade Donald Trump hat. I do love that. Is that great? That is beautiful. Yeah, that from day one. it's gorgeous. Uh, and Tim, pull the mic close to you. Okay. I was going to go. Tim over dressed to in his it, Johnny but... Cash outfit today, all man in black. <laughs> and, um, That's right. Good morning. So, tell us uh, about the uh, the group you guys have here. Well, uh, we're some of the uh, local uh, Mohawk Valley Center New York uh, volunteers for Trump. And uh, we're here today because tomorrow, that's uh, Thursday, September 15th, at 5.30 p.m., we will be out in front of Congressman Hanna's office at 258 Genesee Street on the corner of Court, uh, right across from the Stanley Theater. We will be there in uh, fairly large numbers, we assume. Uh, yeah. This is uh, one in a series of events like this. Do you think your protest of uh, Congressman Hanna is going to change anything? Do uh, you think he's going to come out and say, you know what, I was just thinking, maybe I do like Trump after all? I don't know whether it will change anything or not, but it will certainly uh, give us the opportunity to make known to him exactly yeah. uh, how we feel and how disappointed and, in my case, really disgusted yeah. I've become because I voted for this guy, I supported him, uh, and and he didn't just withhold his support from somebody he disagreed with. That is, he disagreed yeah, with, right, with Trump, Donald Trump, yeah. but he crossed a line. Yeah. He betrayed me, and he betrayed every voter who voted to put him in Congress, in my opinion. And uh, that's why we're going to show up there again, and we're going to have Trump signs. Do you think there's any, I mean, is there any, um, and I understand, uh, you're a Republican, and here's a Republican that's endorsing, of all Democrats, uh, Hillary Clinton. But is there is there really any betrayal, other than the fact that he, he has a different opinion than, than you do? I mean, it's not changing his vote in Albany or in, in Washington. He's, he's in one changing. of he's he's in one of her commercials. Yes, yeah. I know that. Yeah. Well, I mean, Absolutely. that is a crossing the line. He's the crossed point. the line, and he yeah. and he has he has declared that he's going to vote for. Him. Well, I think he should leave office in November. I I think uh, or January, whenever. I think January, we got to yes. get him out. Maybe sooner. We better <laughs> well, get him out. Well, yeah, that's exactly our opinion <laughs> as well. Now, now, okay, yeah. Tim, you mentioned this. This is at least the second time, maybe more. Do you expect something? I mean, what happened last time? Why are you doing it again? I guess is my because question. Because we're we're doing a, a series of these to distribute signs. <laughs> so you feel this is going to grab? You're going to grab by doing it against Hannah. You're going to grab a little more headline by doing it this well, way. Well, we'll have some visibility, and this is just uh, one. You have of, visibility. I mean, look at the visibility you have right now. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Right here on the radio. Yeah. I love the laundry basket of uh, deplorables here. I'm yeah. enjoying that. That's it's really a re- awesome. It's a really deplorable basket. <laughs> yeah. So I see I, it. But this yeah. is one of six events. We did one last Saturday up right. in North Utica. Mm-hmm. We're doing one. I just want to re- remind people we're doing one tomorrow. In downtown Utica, at the corner of Genesee and Court Street, yeah. right across from the Stanley Theater, we will have signs there. We'll have bumper stickers. Uh, we'll uh, sign you up to get you on uh, our email uh, list. And uh, anybody that wants to join us, whether they've been with us in the past or not, is welcome to join us. Uh, we'll welcome you with are, open arms. Are you guys affected at all by the what's up? Big Go news ahead, tonight. Jim. Big news tonight. Meeting tonight. Mention the, tonight's meeting. Well, there's yeah. a, a Oneida County Republican Committee meeting. Okay. And right. uh, several of us have uh, 
gotten signatures on petitions, and we will be uh, filling seats on the United County Republican Committee. Okay. All right, Andrew. Have you noticed that your effort to recruit uh, Trump supporters here in Oneida County has prevailed? Have you been talking with people and changed their minds at all about uh, about their decision for president? Because it's one, two, three, four, five, six. The same. You're the this same is, six you're, you're each the time. Core. No, you are the core. The core. The core. Yeah. We're, we're the it's core. But, the morning, but, there, uh, mentioned you... the last meeting that we had. Pull that, pull that mic had, right close to you. Yeah. Yeah, over there so you can get... We had two Democrats that showed up to our last meeting at Tiny's and publicly came out they were in the past uh, supporters of ross perot and i knew them way back well those democrats, democrats anthony brindisi is out in front of their their houses right now protesting <laughs> because they're turncoats they've they've gone to the other side so we have democrats we have independents we have republicans and everybody in between that really come out and supported trump uh, at the last meeting we had the former conservative party chairman that came out fully supporting and the conservative party just recently came out does it concern you though that there, no. uh, th it, there this is unprecedented um and just to be fair i'm not trying to throw a monkey wrench in here but just to be fair when was the last time you saw a a presidential candidate here in september that had so many high-ranking republicans that are 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 distancing themselves from the candidate. We've never. This is unprecedented. We're 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 distancing themselves now. They're starting to come back That's because right. they know that uh, the his opponent is uh, well, like a George Will, who is a, a conservative, and you've got Glenn Beck, and you've got all of these these people within the conservative and Republican Party who are are vowing to not support Donald Trump. Now they're not going as far as as Hannah has, to say they're going to support Hillary. But they're saying but they will not... What they're doing, they're supporting Hillary. Bottom I understand line. that, but, I, but this is point. unprecedented <laughs> in a presidential campaign. And as far as I'm concerned, I'm fine with it because okay. we wanted to get rid of, of them anyway. Of that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, is that liberal George Will? <laughs> and I, I've got to ask Jim a question, <laughs> if, I, if I can. Jim, just to be fair, I guess it's got to be fair. Okay. Um, yeah, I've heard. Did, did you change? Are you now a registered Republican? Not yet. No, but, but you're going to. Well, yeah. well, let me ask you this question, the though. Right, the paperwork is done. He's a Trumplican. He's a he's a Trumplican. Yeah. Uh, let me ask you this question. I see the Benedict Hanna and the Turncoat Hanna. Mm -hmm. Had you won in the race for Comptroller, you would be in office now as a Democrat. So would you still be on the Trump bandwagon and supporting him? And if so, would it be fair to call you? Benedict Zeka. You were assuming that that I would be a Democrat. We don't know that. You, well, but you I, were. I had you won the election. You were. And all that. Well, yeah, the election. But I, it, you could change any time you want. I mean, nothing stops. Well, an so individual. if you had crossed the line though, while you were in office, if you had crossed that party line and be, went from Democrat to Republican, would you be? Would that be a fitting Benedict yeah, Zeka? I would yeah. say that. Yeah, as a party you, member, it, it, you should be supporting your. And I've always done that up to that point. But did you vote for uh, personally when you were a Democrat? Did you vote for Obama? Did you vote for Clinton? Did you? I'm going to tell you the truth, and I've told everybody this. Yeah. Yes, I did vote for if you Obama had to the go first back, time around, but if you had I, to go I back, realized they made a huge mistake. Okay, so you yeah. would, if you were to go back, you would change your votes. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Unfortunately, I, I must say, I, I made a mistake. All right. Yeah. All right. All right. Yeah. And and for those folks that are leaving, they're saving us the trouble of yeah. getting rid of them. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm I'm glad they're going. I don't want them around. Yes. We want Trump. I hope will be like a giant enema. For gov government, <laughs> from the White House all the way to Utica City Hall Absolutely. and everywhere in between. All right. Uh, he actually might have a few uh, Trump-branded enemas out there on the marketplace right now. <laughs> he has a lot. Of, it's a golden enema, enema they call it. Um, go ahead, Barb. Oh, what do you want to add Bill, here? Bill. How are you, you today? Every time we see each other, you're like, I can't wait to come on the radio and debate you about Trump. I, well, um, um, I'm going to though? mention that you, you were talking about the Republicans. Yeah. And yesterday, Pence was in Congress. They gave him a standing ovation. And I really think because they're looking at the internal polls that all the Republicans will be backing Trump on Election Day. So people like uh, Colin Powell, uh, who's who's calling him 
a, a, a national embarrassment? He's not coming back. I think Colin Powell wanted to run for president, and I think um, he's very upset that four or eight years ago he never had let's the not opportunity. Debate on the, let's not debate on this because he had every opportunity to run and chose not to, and there's a long story about that. But right. there's I, no debating on that because I would win that debate, and I don't want to win. I don't want to win here. <laughs> I would rather lose. <laughs> Barb, Andrew loves you, and oh, I want to lose. I know, my Andrew. <laughs> I I'm, so, lose. I'm so happy I'm here today. I get <laughs> to see my you. Andrew, Bill. That's right. Yes, there's proof that women do like Trump That's and want right. Trump to win. I, uh, and Bill, let's not talk. We're going to start talking about women. education and yes. the maternity oh, leave bill yes. that he is going to push through Congress. Yeah. Uh, women are very, very happy that he is considering um, um, money for child care. Yeah. All right. Uh, I want to ask you. Yes, you're holding the uh, the Bill Moore yeah, House. Yeah. By the sweater. way, how about that? Uh, I want to ask you guys: Is there any wow. concern that you have? I know there's been a lot of talk about the Clinton Foundation, but now there's a big story out of the Washington Post yesterday uh, that digs into the Clinton Foundation. Turns out, uh, Bill, uh, I'm sorry, digs into the Trump Foundation. Turns out that uh, Donald Trump has not given any money towards that foundation since 2008. And the foundation, when he says, I'm giving money to veterans, it's all coming from the foundation, which is really being funded by big uh, money people and not Donald Trump. And even more so uh, disturbing, um, the fact that, you know, uh, uh, Robert Channing does the speed painting. Apparently, there's another guy out there that did that some time ago. And the foundation, the Trump Foundation, bought for $10,000 this six-foot, speed painting of donald trump and he bought it for himself using the foundation money does that bother you at all anybody any of you or you're all good with that I, no I'm not, well it was a beautiful painting i'm not good with that but i have not heard that when did this recently come? Uh, it's recently come? all over the news yeah, right now and it was in the the, the uh, washington post yesterday so i mean it's They're that's, biased it's yeah. a, okay <laughs> so if it isn't if it isn't pleasant about trump then it's bias well no, no but i uh, Speaking for myself, I expect that he's going to do things that I dislike and may and may right. disagree with, maybe even vehemently. But wouldn't but, you think of that I, to but, be the, buying I, a but, buying a painting of of himself using this charity? This charity wouldn't that be deplorable? I'll, wouldn't you put I'll, the, I'll simply, wouldn't you put that I'll in the basket? I'll simply say that he there will be things he will do that I will disagree with. Okay, but if there's going to be any change in this nation, yeah. It's going to start with him. It's the only way it's going to get done. It's it's the only way it's going All to right. get done. Okay. His opponent and, and the, the other people that are in there aren't going to change a thing. They haven't changed the thing, and they're not going to change a thing. Got it. And so I accept what comes with him, and I'm going to support him. I'm going to speak for him. I'm going to vote for him, and uh, I'm going to uh, cheer him on wherever I can. If All he right. does something I disagree with, so be well, it. I'll just, so be it. I'll bite my tongue. Okay. Right? Okay. You, you right. can smack you Bill with the swatter uh, while you're over there, okay? <laughs> Good. There you got me. Okay. She wanted to do that. Okay. So, uh, but really, that's reserved for Bill Morehouse to come in and whack me with that thing. All right. Uh, so, a little Trump chant before you go, and then uh, on your way. Uh, we've had Trump, enough. Trump, 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 Trump. Okay. Trump, there they are. The Trump, 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 the Trump, Trump supporters Trump. of Greater Utica, Rome, Mohawk Valley. Thank you, Bill. Got a break thank you gentlemen and we'll can thank you so much for the bumper sticker and lady going to put that right out under my car